Hi, this is my review of the Audio Technica HTH M40X, the matte gray edition. This is not the standard black, but this is the matte gray. And I noticed there wasn't many reviews about the matte gray. And I was thinking it was going to be like the M50's matte gray ones, but it turns out these look different than those. And yeah, um, I also got these because they were on a discount at Guitar Center right now. They were loaded from 99 to I think 79 or 70 something dollars compared to the standard black ones, which are still uh, I think $100. So yeah, they come with you know the headphones, obviously. the yeah, you know, the cables, the pouch, and all that. I, I also got them because I was hoping they would look cool. Like, cooler compared to the regular black ones. So this is what you get. Fancy paper, fancy carrying case, they're not fancy, I don't know why I'm saying fancy, um, the headphones, so, I don't know if you can see this well in the video, on the picture, but, um, you know, they're pretty gray, they're not, I was, wasn't sure what kind of I thought I was thinking they're gonna be more like black gray like on the darker side of gray, but They're pretty gray like standard regular gray Not really shiny which is good. I was hoping for that So Let's see if I can compare so this it's black so this is black and this is more gray audio technica they're really light and from the from what i can guess they're pretty much all plastic very almost no metal except for like screws and not how surprisingly not even this part seems metal it sounds plastic surprisingly it's very you know cushy in the ear cup but surprisingly not much for the band for the headband is very one piece one solid piece but it's not exactly it doesn't feel sturdy like you can notice it's pretty plasticky but the sound oh that click sound that's from the headphones when I when they fold inwards I don't know why, but they do that. Mm, not too loud, but it you can hear it. You, you'll hear it. It's not too loud, though. The quality of sound is pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, there's not many videos out there about the matte gray edition of the M40s. You will. I I was thinking it would be the same as a Mac Gray of the M50s, but they're not. They're not at all. The Mac Grays of the M50s are on the online. They do look very different. This is very lightweight, pretty cheap, and surprisingly, the cable is also gray. To go with the. Uh, the headphones.
both are both cables are gray which is pretty cool now I was surprised because I have other headphones that are cheaper than these and the build quality on those other ones are far better there's actually metal and which although like the build although these build quality this the quality for this one the build quality is not that great that sounds good this sounds flat i mean i don't know if it's completely flat in terms of the frequency response or you know eq i don't know if it's completely flat but they sound pretty flat Compared to my other headphones, these sound neutral, they sound good, it's detailed, but neutral, like it's flat, which is good, because that's what, like if you're working at, like working at a home studio, working on music at home, if you make your own music, if you mix, and you want to check it out on headphones, you want a neutral sound, and these really are neutral. So, right now, they're selling them for like 70-something bucks, which is actually how much my Sony 7506s cost. Right? Actually, these are the ones that I was talking about. These, yeah, Sony's. These cost usually around 70-something. Metal, these are metal, metallic, you know, these are sturdy, the coil is better quality, I mean, this, these, this build quality is for, this is pretty good, compared to the Audio Technicas, like these usually get them for 70 something, the Audio Technicas you get them for $100, and the build quality is not that good, except the sound quality is fairly nice. They're really enjoyable. I like them. It's like, I don't know if you like this color. Like, if I put them up to the light. I don't know. Because I wasn't sure whether to choose these or the center black ones. I wasn't sure but they're okay they look plasticky they look really flimsy but they I, this it'll work for me you know there's a lot most headphones look black and like regular you know these actually are different which i like i like it so yeah if you are looking for uh to actually see how they look like because the photos they they're not really that it was hard to tell and even on the line on the pictures the cables looked black these are gray so the online photos made them seem more black gray like a darker gray but these are more like a gray gray like a regular gray so yeah, this is my review for the Audio-Technica's ATH-M40X Matte Gray Edition. And if you like it, if you like the look, if you're looking for neutral headphones, neutral sounding headphones that don't boost certain frequencies to, you know, to appeal for certain music genres, if you want something that will work you know for any kind of genre definitely go for these these are right now they're being on discount i was surprised that they were on discount so yeah definitely go for if you if you like the look if you don't mind something that's kind of light and kind of plasticky but sounds well definitely go for these definitely definitely yep there you go